let us solve one more problem on tangents and normals find the equations of the tangent to the curve y is equal to 3x square minus x cube where it meets x axis so that means here the point on the curve is not given so we need to find out equation of the tangent to the curve where it cuts x axis it cuts x axis means on x axis we need to find out the point of intersection of the curve with x axis we have to find out so after getting points of intersection at that points of intersection we need to find out equations of or equation of the tangent if two cases will arise equations of the tangent will get it if only one case will arise then equation of the tangent we need to find out so that means first let us find out the point of intersection of the curve with the x axis so how can you find out the point of intersection of a curve with x axis do you have any strategy yes on x axis the y coordinate is 0 so that means put y is equal to 0 and find x values so after getting x values substitute there in the curve we get the y coordinates so let us proceed in that one now so now equation of the curve is y is equal to 3x square minus x cube okay say equation 1 as equation 1 cuts or intersects x axis cuts x axis we have we have y equals to 0 that means y coordinate is 0 so from 1 3x square minus x cube equals to 0 here take x square common we get 3 minus x is equal to 0 here x square is equal to 0 3 minus x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 so that means it meets that means curve x axis at p 0 comma 0 one point and other point is say q 3 comma 0 so that means at p equation of the tangent we need to find out at q also two cases will arise so first let us find out dy by dx so again consider y is equal to 3x square minus x cube differentiate both sides with respect to x differentiate both sides with respect to x now dy by dx equals to d by dx of 3x square minus x cube now this equals to 3 into d by dx of x square minus d by dx of x cube okay 3 into derivative of x square is 2x minus derivative of x cube is how much 
3 x square. So, this can be written 6 x minus 3 x square. This is nothing but dy by dx. Now, consider case 1. Slope of the tangent slope of the tangent m is equal to dy by dx at p 0 comma 0 at p 0 comma 0 ok. So, that means in dy by dx x for 0 substitute we get this equal to 6 times 0 minus 3 times 0 square 6 times 0 minus 3 times 0 square 0 minus 3 into 0 0 minus 0 so 0 let us find out equation of the tangent at p having the slope 0 so that means now in this case equation of the tangent. So, equation of the tangent is y minus y 1 is equal to m times x minus x 1. Let us substitute x 1 for 0, y 1 for 0 and m is also 0. So, that means y minus 0 is equal to 0 times x minus 0. So, this is equal to 0. So, y is equal to 0. What does mean by y is equal to 0? That means x axis. The x axis itself is the equation of the tangent. So, that means one of the equations of the tangent is x axis. So, now we need to consider the case 2 also. So, let us consider case 2. case 2. Slope of the tangent, slope of the tangent m dy by dx at q point. What are the q coordinates? q coordinates means 3 comma 0, this one. So, 3 comma 0. Now, here substitute x for 3. 6 into 3 minus 3 into 3 square. 18 minus 3 into 9. 18 minus 27. That is minus 9. Now, equation of the tangent. Equation of the tangent is same formula, okay. Y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Here m is equal to minus 9, we have to replace x1 means 3, y1 means 0. So, let us simplify. So, now y minus 0 is equal to minus 9 times x minus 3 y equals to minus 9 x plus 27. So, let us transpose minus 9 x and plus 27 to the left hand side. So, we get now 9x plus y minus 27 is equal to 0. This is the one of the equations of the tangent. So, in this way we can find out equations of the tangent to the curve y is equal to 3x square minus x cube where it meets x axis. Here we get two equations of the tangents. One is y is equal to 0, other is 9x plus y minus 27 is equal to 0.
Okay, so let us solve this problem. Show that the equation of the tangent to the curve x by a all to the power of n plus y by b all to the power of n equals to 2 where a does not equal to 0, b does not equal to 0 at the point a comma b is x by a plus y by b is equal to 2. So, this problem is actually now related to the board examination. Now, we have to follow the steps. First, we need to differentiate this curve we have to find out dy by dx. So, now we have to find out slope of the tangent at a comma b. Then equation of the tangent we have to find out that should be put in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 2. So, it may take very lengthy process has to be followed because this will be given for 4 marks. So, let us solve it now. Equation of the curve is x by a all to the power of n plus y by b all to the power of n equals to 2 say equation 1. Differentiate both sides with respect to 2 x. So, now derivative of x by a all to the power of n that is n times x by a all to the power of n minus 1 x by a differentiation that is very very important x differentiation 1 a is constant. So, 1 by a plus in the similar manner the derivative of y by b all to the power of n has to be performed. So, this is n times y by b all to the power of n minus 1 derivative of y by b that is actually we get 1 by b y derivative is dy by dx this is very very important step equals to derivative of 2 constant 0. Now, we have to simplify this one this is n by a into x to the power of n minus 1 by a to the power of n minus 1 plus n by b y to the power of n minus 1 by b to the power of n minus 1 into dy by dx equal to 0. Now, this can be written n times x to the power of n minus 1 okay, divided by a into a to the power of n minus 1. The loss of theory of indices has to be applied here a to the power of into a to the power of n minus 1 means n minus 1 plus 1 a to the power of n plus in the similar manner here we can write n into y to the power of n minus 1 by b to the power of n. Directly can I write dy by dx equal to 0. So, transpose this term to the right hand side. n y to the power of n minus 1 b to the power of n dy by dx equals to minus n x to the power of n minus 1 by a to the power of n. This n, n gets cancelled. Now, dy by dx is equal to minus x to the power of n minus 1 by a power n multiplied by reciprocal of this one b power n by y to the power of n minus 1. Now, we need to find out the slope of the tangent at a comma b. That means, slope of the tangent at 
m equals to dy by dx dy by dx at a comma b so that means at a comma b instead of x replace a instead of y replace b so we get now this equals to minus a to the power of n minus 1 by a to the power of n okay multiplied by b to the power of n by b to the power of n minus 1 you do one thing a to the power of m by a to the power of n a to the power of m by a to the power of n formula a to the power of m minus n but n is greater than n minus 1 n is greater than n minus 1. So, we can write minus 1 by a to the power of n minus n plus 1 into b to the power of n minus n plus 1 n n cancel n n cancel. This is minus b by a is very interesting. The slope of the tangent at a comma b is minus b by a. Now, we need to find out equation of the tangent. Equation of the tangent. is we know the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So, here x1 stands for a, y1 stands for b whereas m is equal to minus b by a. So, y minus b equals to minus b by a x minus a. Okay. Now, bring b this side y minus b by b equals to minus x minus a by a. Let it be simplified y by b minus b by b is 1 minus of x by a minus a by a minus 1 y by b minus 1 equals to minus x by a plus 1. So, now bring minus x by a this side minus 1 that side we have here you see x by a plus y by b am I correct? Take minus 1 that side equal to 1 plus 1. Therefore, x by a plus y by b equals to 2. So, this is the required equation of the tangent. See, you check it. x by a plus y by b is equal to 2. 